Hi friends, hope you guys had a good weekend. For me it was more of a rest weekend from working out, but I was really busy working on the Flow Fix Planner, getting the video ready for YouTube. Oh, I'm in the middle of a workout. But today's topic is going to be a continuation of <laughs> my, my chest hurt, my, my core hurts a lot. So a few days ago I gave you some tips on how to perform in front of the camera even if you don't have the biggest pers personality or if you're just simply shy, which is basically similar to having a wide vocabulary to describe things you're passionate about, you can also use a wide variety of physical body gestures to emphasize things that you're passionate about when you're talking about them. It's not about being fake or anything. Oh, it's about It's about finding a set of physical gestures that you're comfortable with to help you express emotions in front of the camera. Because it is kind of weird if you are talking in front of the camera there's something you're really into and you're flat and you don't, and you're not able to communicate that idea across, your emotions across. Yeah, let's, 81 calorie burn, let's do the next exercise. I think I'm gonna do the next one, total body badass. We can all agree that Human beings are social creatures, so being able to communicate effectively, even if you're shy, by using just simple body gestures can go a whole long way to being able to connect with people, right? I feel like during this pandemic, we all have our little hobbies and things that we're really passionate about. It would be awesome to be able to express that on video and share it with people and, and build a community, right? So hopefully you got a bit of confidence about how to perform in front of the camera. Now you got your camera ready and your things you have something you want to talk about, you're passionate about. But then like where do you begin? What do you talk about? So that's what this video is gonna be about. Oh so when I did my 25 push-ups for 25 days challenge, I didn't know what I was gonna say every day. I had no script. I had a rough idea, a lot of ideas of things I would talk about. Like uh, like a smart scale and fruit. And I don't know. I think one important thing to point out is that you don't have to be an expert at anything to be a video blogger. Although it does, it does. If, if you were an expert, like my friend Annette is a is a coach, a certified coach. And if I was starting out my video, I'd totally play it up and say, yes, I have graduated from this uh, this course with this certification. And I'm here to talk about wellness and stuff like that because it creates, some creates something called social proof. But you don't have to be an expert to be a video blogger. When I did my 25 days, 25 push-up challenge, I was clearly not an expert at health and nutrition. I was just an enthusiast. Like I was saying, I was an enthusiast, not an expert, which is perfectly fine because, like, when I started my video, I intentionally started it by saying, hi friends, welcome to 25 days push-ups, right? I specifically said, hi friends, I wasn't trying to be an authority figure, I was just trying to talk to my friends and potentially build a community, not be an expert that was talking down to someone. So you get that out of your head that you don't have to be like this genius, you're probably watching other YouTube videos going, whoa man, they're so good at what they do, I don't know if I can do what they're doing, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. It's just being enthusiastic, which comes back to... um the body language when you're talking about something that you're passionate about to really express that. At the end of the day, it's not your degree, your certification that makes you an expert as a video blogger. It's gonna be the market that's gonna determine that. The people that respond to you in the comments and the views you get, that's, that's gonna determine whether you're an expert or not. So don't even worry about feeling like you're not knowledgeable. Like I made a lot of mistakes in my my 25 days push-up series that, oh my god, the one thing I was talking about, fruits one day, and I like, gave it all this crap about fruits full of sugar, so much sugar, and then the next day I came back and I was like, ah, it's actually, I found more research and it's actually not that bad. People, I think, like that when you discover your mistakes. They're more interested in following you along in your journey as you develop as a, as a person, because everyone else is developing as well, as themselves are developing too, so it's cool to be in sync with that. Hope that gives you a bit more confidence about simply being an enthusiast is perfectly fine and awesome. Especially if you can express that on camera. So now you're probably wondering, okay, now what do I talk about? 
every day. So, like I said earlier, I didn't even know I was going to talk about it every day. What I did was in the morning when I ate breakfast, I'd review my previous day's video and look at the comments, see what comments people had. Um, earlier on, I think I was more into um, talking about the health and losing weight, and eventually I got a comment from my relative Cheryl that was like, thank you for keeping the focus on on mental health issues and then after that everything switched and I started heavily focused on health and your air, your physical health and your mental health in combination. So sometimes it's about you, you don't really know what your audience wants until they start commenting and then you sort of um, work from there. If you want to build your community you, you have to communicate with your community and and uh, it's not exactly giving them what they want it's more about like um, this is what you're into, they're into it too, but maybe they have some questions and you can answer them, and so why not delve further into things that your community is interested in? Unless, I mean, I get it, if you're like some celebrity, you can just talk about anything you want and people are just gonna be mesmerized, but if you're not a celebrity and you're, and you're more of an enthusiast, then, then it's all about building your community. You don't need a lot of viewers either, you just need the die hard people that will comment or like your video every day and, and encourage you to keep going. It's really fun being a video blogger. And it's tiring working out and talking at the same time. It's getting late, so I think for tomorrow's video I'm gonna talk about how to how to talk on camera without a script. My old videos, my old YouTube videos where I talked about movies and stuff like that. Eventually, Batman manifests himself into Nietzsche's will to power. It sounds badass, I know, but to understand will to power, we have to understand what will is. Nietzsche was inspired by philosopher Schopenhauer's thoughts on will. And I established my, my authority in filmmaking. I used a script and it, it, it took forever to shoot those videos, but, but when you work without a script, it's awesome. You just free flow and talk. I'm gonna, I think tomorrow I'll tell you, so I'll give you some tips on how to do it. Not bad for 40 minutes worth of work. Boom, and...